King Noble, Black Supremacy. With this particular video, I have to talk about polite getting caught up in Hollywood with the twerking tranny. Now, when I first saw this video, I didn't want to believe it. I just wanted to think it was a spoof video or a comedy because the way it was spliced up, watching the video from the beginning, you could be led to that conclusion. Until you actually see Polite in the car next to the blonde with the twerking tranny twerking on the vehicle. I was shocked to see this. I just couldn't believe it. Polite in Hollywood hanging out with twerking trannies. Couldn't believe it. Didn't want to jump to no conclusions. So I ended up watching Solomon's show where Polite called in and gave his story about what happened that night. His story, he said he was on a date with the sister with the blonde hair that's supposed to be some type of African actor from Kenya or something. She's supposed to be famous or somebody. I've never heard of her. But he's on a date with her, according to him. And while they're on the date, some twerking tranny just walks up on the car and just starts twerking. Out of nowhere. Very random. And that's that. He can't... He can't Control who's going to come up on the car. It's Hollywood. It goes down like that. So I just, I listened to his story. And I said, okay, well, let me, all right, whatever. Because no one wants to believe that Polite's hanging out with trannies. Even though it was obvious that Polite is losing himself. And he's getting lost in Hollywood. I mean, it's obvious. We all see that. But to what extent, how far he's become lost, that's the questionable piece. And now I think we're getting a taste of that. For one, we talk about all this consciousness in the black community and natural and eating healthy. Why would we glorify being around these fake Hollywood makeup, superficial, self-hating blacks? For one, if you're about, about the natural movement and about being natural and being healthy, I don't know how excited you could be by being among Hollywood matrix zombies. How much of a good time and how, how much you feel that you're doing something progressive, out of, for one. Nobody truly conscious and awakened that's against the Matrix is going to be excited and happy hanging around some Hollywood Matrix zombies. But you leave your door open when you hang around people that's just in the Matrix, that just want to be stars, that just want to be accepted, that just want to ride the trends, be in the limelight, limelight. You bound to get caught up with a tranny if that's what you are associating with, if that's what you vibing with. So the standards has been terribly reduced down to almost extermination. The value system gone. I don't want to be famous or have money or have vehicles to the extent that I'm willing to hang around Matrix. Hollywood self-hating black zombies and call that a good time. So th just period, even if the even if the tranny wasn't there, you got to ask, well, what are you doing? Polite, you got a beautiful black melanated natural goddess at home. And you net you you with this. This blonde. Matrix zombie. That's what I call her. Who hangs out with trainees, who validates psychological dementia and, and, and deranged lunatic self-hating ideologies, because that's what the tranny is, that's what the tranny represents. This is why you become rich. This is why you, you, you've got money to get away from the conscious and to get lost among the unconscious. Because a lot of unconscious people got money. That's people who just don't really care. They just want to be accepted. Like I said, they just want to be in the limelight. They just want to be valued. They want to be actors. They want to network. They're completely asleep. That's why the Illuminati just sucks their ass in.
That's why they end up on get it, ghetto gaggers and just end up getting rammed up the ass by some sick white psychopath. Because they really don't really care. She said she was just going to hang out with Polite that night. And she felt safe around him because he was supposed to be somebody since he was famous and she just wanted the network and all this. And it's this trust. So she just trusted him and, and, and moved with him. And we know very well she, her ass could have been Bill Cosby. Some could be slipped in one of her drinks. And this whole situation could just go down. These type of situations can go down. But let me get back to the story. So I'm saying there's a lot wrong with this picture other than the fact that it's a tranny twerking on the car. But I listened to Polite's story and, and, and in listening to Polite's story, I just let it, you know, I said, well, maybe it's not that big deal. Then Solarmine gets the girls on the show. Because you got the tranny twerking in front of the girl that Polite liked that's supposed to be the actor. Now, there's a picture of her twerking and just hugging up with her. So this, this girl that he liked with the blonde hair, this self-hating act Kenyan actress sister, is rubbing up on this damn tranny in the same video with Polite in there. Now, you get the two women on there talking. And the woman says, oh, she was not on a date with Polite. She just met Polite at the club. Polite was at the club, but he so happened to be at a club, a tranny club, clubs where trannies go. Now, where I'm from, if we go to a club and we see that it's trannies and it's a gay bar, we just slide the fuck up on out of there real, real quick. But I guess he didn't drink any juice carrot that day carrot juice so his eyes wasn't good enough to really see a d distinguish a tranny from a non-tranny but I thought that's a part of being conscious to be able to have insight and see into things and be aware of your environment and have a deeper level of perception and awareness than normal I thought that was the purpose of being conscious but he was unconscious in the club he was unconscious that he was with a tranny. He was just unconscious of what's going on. Polite admits he was unconscious. He didn't know it was a tranny. So he meets this actor in a club. And just because he's supposed to be somebody. He opens himself up. He opens himself wide open. And it doesn't matter. She's supposed to be some actor or somebody. So fuck it. I'm hanging out with this actor and this tranny tonight. So Polite was not on a date with her. He didn't know her. He met her there. So that was a contradiction in his story. The same type of misguidance that he did with Miss Wright. A lot of people thought he was married to Miss Wright the way he made it appear. But Miss Wright said she was never with him, so we don't know if that was a real relationship or not. But when when she ends up pregnant by Music Soul Child, now all of a sudden they was never together. That's not his wife, whatever. But he misled us with this same blonde head chick with the low cut grinding up on the tranny. He misled us to think that he knew her and went out on a date with her and they were just having a good time. To even say the fact that he knew she was not a tranny. So we don't even know if the chick with the blonde hair is a tranny or not. It could have been both trannies. Because she said in the video that even though Polite said he knew her and knew for sure he wasn't a she wasn't a tranny and had a good time with her, she said that Polite called her and asked her if she was a tranny after the, the date. After it became hype and it, it ended up on social media, Polite decided to call her and say, are you, are you a tranny? Go listen to the Soul of Mine interview on Inner Black Media. She said, are you, are, you know, he said, are you a tranny or not? He don't even know if he's hanging out with trannies or not. He's just so unconscious. He's just so caught up in the bullshit. 
We don't know if he's been cloned. Is somebody handling his ass? He just got so caught up in the bullshit that he's just not even aware of what's going on. So he has to call her and ask, are you a tranny? So he lied to us and said he, he was on a date with her. And he didn't hang out to her after he met her with the tranny. Now, I got to ask myself, if you want to kick it with people who have your standards, when you find out this woman's hanging out with a damn tranny, is that going to make you question if you want to go out on a date with her or not? When you got two or three beautiful, holistic, vegan wives at the house? Is that going to make you say, mm, I don't know, I'm going to pass this one up. This situation is kind of wild. But he said, no, he's still with the tranny and said, you know, we still going to go out according to him. We don't know if him and the tranny hung out all night or not. We don't even know if they all just just hung out together. The story is, is, is very twisted. But there's two definite lies that he told. That he was all on a date with her and the tranny just popped up out of nowhere. As though they weren't both in the club. In the tranny club together. And he liked the blonde chick and ended up connecting him with her irregardless as the, Irregardless of if she was with the tranny or not. And then he just ended up having a deal to take take along the tranny with him because she was with the African chick from Kenya who was supposed to be somebody. So he, tranny had to come with her. And we still don't know if the African chick is a tranny or not. Where am I going with this? Polite is fucking lost. This has nothing to do with black consciousness, black liberation, black empowerment, none of that. Polite is fucking lost. He's trying to imitate the sleep, but he just wants to imitate the sleep that have something. The true sleep that want to wake up is willing to give up everything they fucking have to wake up. He's willing to go to sleep. To get everything that the fucking sleep who have something have. Because just because you have wealth and riches don't mean you consciousness. You conscious. Don't mean you're awake. Don't mean you're enlightened. People have inheritance. People get money. They got friends. They get opportunities. You don't have to be conscious per se to be rich. You can be unscrupulous. You could be ruthless. There's a lot of ways to get money that has nothing to do with consciousness and enlightenment. And just because you don't have money. In large sums doesn't mean you're not enlightened or you're not conscious. You might have integrity. You might have principles. Or you might not just give a, hope on, give a fuck about money every goddamn day, every hour where you wake up in the morning thinking about how I'm going to get money and money this and money that, how I'm going to get these dead presidents with the white man's face on it. You just might not want to think about that shit every fucking day. You might want to focus on some, your life on something else or be centered in something else. So just because you don't have money don't mean you're conscious. It just means you might not really, really give a whole bunch of fucks about money. And just because you got money doesn't mean that you're spiritually enlightened or deep or anything like that. It just means you're willing to possibly put a whole bunch of white cocks in your mouth and surrender and bow down or focus and concentrate the entirety of your existence on money and materialism and being networking and an association and connection with those that have it. But this picture is went all wrong. I'm disappointed and impolite in this situation. It's very questionable. Very questionable. This King Noble Black Supremacy, join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Donate. Don't hate. Join my website. Get your free membership. Radical, raw, uncensored information and footage. www.kingnobleuncensored.com And follow me on Instagram. www.kingnobleuncensored.com on Instagram. Black Supremacy.